Solving differential equations can be very difficult as there is no general method to solve them all. Therefore, it's important to look at those special cases of differential equations for which we have precise solutions. One of these special types of ODEs is called separable ODE. So these are first order ODEs where the first derivative of our unknown function is an expression in x and y, um, but not just any expression, it's a product of a function of x and a function of y. And these are known functions, and so if we know that h of y is not zero, we can divide both sides by it to get this equation, which when integrated with respect to x, results in this equation where we use the substitution rule on the left-hand side to, that, to get this y integral. And so now we have two integrals, uh, one as a function of y and another one as a function of x. Therefore, if we can evaluate these integrals and then solve for y, we get the general solution. So this function of y on the left-hand side, let's denote that by capital H of y. And so if we can invert that function, uh, solve for y, we obtain the general solution of our ODE uh, y being h inverse applied to the indefinite integral of g of x dx. Let's look at a concrete example and consider the ODE where y prime is equal to k times y. So now uh, g of x is equal to 1 and h of y is equal to k times y, for example. We can divide both sides by y, assuming that y is not 0, and integrate with respect to x to get this equation of integrals. Uh, both of which we can evaluate. The left-hand side is the natural logarithm of mod y, and the right-hand side is k times x plus any constant c. Therefore, we get this equation, this relation, which we can solve for y by using the inverse function of the natural logarithm, the exponential. Exponentiating both sides gives us mod y as e to the kx plus c, or in other words, y is plus or minus e to the kx plus c. That plus or minus e to the C, we can collect and call uh, by the letter uh, A, and then we say that the general solution of y prime equals k times y is y equals some constant A times e to the kx. And note that that constant A can even be zero because of the very first step where we divide it by y. We were assuming that y is not equal to zero, whereas y, of y equals zero is actually a solution of this ODE. Now let's solve some more separable ODEs. Solve the separable ODE, y prime equals one over y, and select the curve that the solutions have for their graph. So pause the video and make your selection now. Okay, I hope you paused it and have found the solutions to have parabolic arcs for their graphs. Well, we can uh, multiply both sides of this ODE by y to get uh, y times y prime equals one then integrate both sides with respect to x and use the substitution rule to get the y integral on the right left hand side that is the integral of y dy and the integral on the uh, right hand side is of course the integral of 1 dx now these integrals we, we can evaluate on the left hand side we get y squared over 2 equals x plus any constant c and if you look at this equation this is an equation for a parabola um, of course solving for y we would multiply both sides by 2 and then take the square root so indeed we get two branches of the parabolic arc plus or minus the square root of 2x plus 2c so this is why we get uh, parabolic arcs uh, for the solutions of uh, these curves for the graphs of these solutions that is let's look at the next question Solve the separable ODE where y prime is equal to negative x over y and select the kind of curve that solutions have for their graph. Pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and have found the solutions to have circular arcs uh, for their graphs. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by y again, we get y y prime equals negative x and then integrating both sides with respect to x using the substitution rule lets us write the left hand side as the integral of y dy and the right hand side as the integral of negative x dx. Now these integrals we can evaluate. We get y squared over 2 equals negative x squared over 2 plus any constant c and if we just rearrange this equation multiply by 2 we get x squared plus y squared equals 2c 
which you may recognize as the equation for a circle that's centered at the origin and, and has a radius of square root of 2c. So for positive uh, c, it um, has a curve associated with it. Of course, when we, were, uh, we would be solving for y, we would be picking one um, arc of this circle, the upper or lower semicircle, namely we get uh, 2c minus x squared under the square root with either plus or minus sign. So what we get uh, in the xy plane are uh, upper semicircles or lower semicircular arcs. Let's look at the next question. Solve the separable ODE y prime equals negative 2xy and find the limit of the general solution at the infinity. So the limit as x approaches positive infinity of y of x. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you pause it and find this limit to be zero. Well, let's just first solve this ODE y prime equals negative 2xy. First, we divide both sides by y. Um, well, we may recognize that y equals zero for all x is also a solution, and for that the limit at infinity is zero. Um, now, if y is not zero, we can divide by it and get uh, y prime over y equals negative 2x, which then can be integrated with respect to x both sides, and then we get, using the sub substitution rule, uh, the y integral that is the integral of 1 over y dy on the left hand side and the x integral that is the integral of negative 2x dx on the right hand side. Now these integrals we can evaluate, we get the natural logarithm of mod y on the left hand side and we get negative x squared plus any constant c on the right hand side. Exponentiating both sides and uh, taking the mod into account we get y to be plus or minus e to the negative x squared plus c and so uh, which we can write as uh, plus or minus e to the c over e to the x squared and when written in this way it becomes apparent that the limit as x approaches infinity of y of x is indeed zero because upstairs we just have a constant that is divided by e to the x squared and as x approaches positive infinity e to the x squared also approaches positive infinity therefore we get a one over infinity type a constant over infinity type of expression that is zero okay let's look at the next question solve the following initial value problem and then evaluate the solution at x equals two pause the video and input your answer in the box hope you pause it and i found this value y of two is three uh, first let's just solve the um, ODE. It is a separable ODE, it's just um, in disguise. We just need to divide both sides by x and also divide both sides by y uh, plus 1 to get uh, y prime over y plus 1 equals 1 over x. Now here we assume that y is not equal to negative 1 for all x, um, but we already know that y at 1 is positive 1, so that is indeed true. And so integrating both sides with respect to x using the substitution rule on the left hand side leaves us with the integral of uh, 1 over y plus 1 dy being equal to the integral of 1 over x dx. Now these integrals we can evaluate, it, they will be the natural logarithm of uh, y plus 1 being equal to the natural logarithm of x plus any constant c. Now here I didn't write a mo uh, the modulus sign and this is because I know that initially the value at x equals 1 is 1 so here we have a positive function and that uh, will remain true and also I'm interested in uh, the case where x is equal to 2 so I don't need to put uh, the absolute value sign there. Now exponentiating both sides um, gives us uh, y plus 1 equals x um, times e to the c and therefore y is equal to um, x times e to the c minus 1 and now comes the initial value that we are given so we know that y of 1 is supposed to be equal to 1 but if I plug in y of 1 we, I get e to the c minus 1 so this is supposed to be 1 therefore I can 
conclude that e to the c is equal to 2 and using that in the original uh, solution that we have found we find that the general solution is 2 times x negative minus 1 so when we plug in um, x equals 2 we get 2 times 2 negative 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one